<laughs> uh, hey. Hey, folks, it's Friday. What's up? Uh, we're here. Hanging out. Yeah, I'm wearing some 90s throwback. Bam. Okay, yeah. I'm taking it back to 1994. <laughs> mm. Okay, where are you guys from? And do you remember 1994? Where were you in 1994? <laughs> 30 years have gone by. Uh, well, all right, where, where are you guys from? Where, <laughs> okay, we got Memphis, Brazil, Napoli, Chow, the DMV, Kansas City, Georgia, Detroit, St. Louis. Lady Lawyer says she remembers 1994. <laughs> I love it. Oh, the chat's going. It's going. Somebody graduated in 94. Okay. Ah! Jersey, South Carolina, Indiana, Durham, North Carolina, Dallas, Texas, Anaheim, California, Simi Valley, California, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Vermont. Oh, man, it's going crazy. Dubai. Tuning in tonight. Nigeria. Hey, hey, hey. All the continents are represented. All right. Although I didn't see any Aussies yet. Is it it's Saturday morning in Australia? Where are you at? <laughs> Buenos Aires. Argentina. Hi, Matthias. Uh, we got uh, Omaha. Wait. Ormond Beach, Florida. Boston, Massachusetts. Phoenix, Arizona. Iceland. Iceland tuning in. How, how is it there? Uh-oh, Kevin in Gotham City. <laughs> Darren, now in Baltimore. Mmm. Fairbanks, Alaska. Hi, Colleen. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we got, let's see, Cleveland, Ohio. We got Motown, Puerto Rico. Uh, Devers having an Aussie beer. Ah, sure. <laughs> Patrice was 40 years old in 94. So you're looking good right now. I love that. Thanks for hanging out with us. We got Todd in Utah turning it up. Todd, were you on the golf course in 94? I'm assuming. All right, Kathy in Tampa. Hey, Kath. What's up, Greg? Uh, DC in the house. Debbie. Mark in Chattanooga. Christina. Guten Morgen. In Stuttgart. Guten Morgen. Uh, what's the wine tonight? Uh, we got some wine. I do have some wine. We're going to drink some wine tonight. I need to pour some. I didn't pour it yet, but I did open the bottle a while ago. Uh, New Jersey's representing Hi, Elaine. Uh, okay. We got Montana, Columbia, as in the country, or I don't know. We're going to find out. Uh, Teresa was 27 in 1994. Yes, I was 21. I had just turned 21 when I released the album. I could officially drink. <laughs> right. All right. Oh, we're not quite there yet. Mm, Victor was 30 in 94. Where were you, Victor? Uh-huh. Ah. Mm. Robert Williams Jr. was 27. 94. Christina was 24. All right. Peter Widmer was 44. La Ronda Garrett was 29. Oh, ha, ha. Isabella was born in 94. So you are now, well, you're 29 or 30, depending on when you were born. There you go. Uh, anybody else born in 94? Let me know. Let me know. You are as old as Long Night Out. You're a Long Night Out baby. <laughs> this is hilarious. All right. Uh, Hog Major was 18. All right, I got you beat by two years. 
<laughs> uh, 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 uh. Yes, computer with floppies. For sure. I mean, I had... I did have a hard drive, but it was very small. I had an old Macintosh uh, 2. No, it was... What was that? It was a Mac 2 or something. Anyway. Uh, somebody was born in 99. Oh, wow. All right. Tell, tell me to... Staying with it. All right. Let's... Let's pour some wine, shall we? I'm pouring. I'm pouring. It's time. All right, cheers, everybody. Walter English was born in 1994. No, he wasn't. But he's... De- <laughs> did I record on... What did I record on? We're going to talk about the whole record tonight. We're going to talk about it. All right, y'all ready? Let's do this. Come on now. Oh. Bam. Uh, yeah. Whoop. There we go. Uh, hey. It's Brian Culbertson. We're live. And it's Friday night. That's right. Uh... I don't know what's going on. I did pour some wine, though. Can we sing it? Come on. What? It's Friday night. Oh, man. It's Friday night. Oh, uh, yeah. It's Friday night. Night, 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 night. It's Friday night. It's Friday night. What? Come on. It's Friday night. And we're hanging out. Yeah, we are. Just drink some wine in the studio. studio, studio. It's Friday night and we're hanging out. We're hanging oh, yeah. out. Just drink some wine in the studio. It's Friday night. Oh. It's Friday night. How you guys doing tonight? We're going to celebrate Long Night Out being 30 years old. Now, technically, it is now over 30 because it was released February 1st, 1994. So that was two and a half months ago. So this uh, this episode is, is, is a little it's belated. But nonetheless, here we are. <laughs> So we're celebrating 30 years of Long Night Out, the original. And we're going to play some tunes. I don't know why I'm playing this song, but I guess I always do. We're going to play some tunes from the original so you can check it out. And then I will go into the remake. You know what I'm talking about? We will certainly talk about it. Check this out. All right. First of all, let's get a sip. Because we need a sip. We need a sip. Oh, I broke out some good wine. I'm not going to lie. I broke out some good wine tonight. Because we are celebrating. I broke out the Gargiulo Vineyards. Oh. This is a six-year-old Merlot. It's delicious. Uh, let me set the bottle down. All right, all right. Oh, 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 oh. And by the way, do you notice what's sitting behind me? I'll show you later. Okay, for now, I'm going to play a snip of the original album of how it started. If you haven't heard the original, you're about to hear snips. All right? Mm. All right, we're going to fade this out. We're going to fade that song out. Okay, okay. So this is the original album as it started 30 years ago. And this was the demo, really, of... of this, this was on the original demo. The demo had three songs on it that got this record deal. 
this was the first song on the demo, and it ended up, uh, ended up being track one on the album as well. So check this out. City Lights. Now I need a drink. Again. So 90s, isn't it? It's awesome. I'll let it go a little bit, and then I'll go into the remake and play along. Listen to that bass and drums. It was all synth. There it was, the original City Lights. All right, I'm going to fade that one out because we're going to play the remake for you right now. You all ready?
City Lights. Well, that's the remake right there. Featuring the great Lee Rittenauer on guitar. Obviously, a whole uh, cast of amazing musicians are on the remake, which is called Another Long Night Out. You know that. Just in case you didn't know. All right. So we're going to talk all about the original. How did it happen? And why did I do a remake? So, uh, first of all, I'm going to play. play f- this is Fullerton Avenue. The original. This is track two on the album. 30 years old now. Oh, check that out. So I programmed the drums on the keyboard, right? These are drum samples. Same with the bass. To try to make it sound real. All right, that's Fullerton App. And that song is on the album because I lived on Fullerton Avenue where I made that first record. You want to see it? This is Fullerton Avenue. All right. That's Fullerton. And that's the costume shop. And the third floor, that was where the studio was. See that window up on the top floor? That third floor. That studio is where I made the original long... That's it. That is it. I think I got one more slide. Oh, that's the first gig I ever did. It's coming up on 30 years. May 13th, 94. I'll show you again later. All right. So Fullerton Avenue. Very busy street in Chicago. And so I'd be recording. I only had one uh, real live musician that used a microphone. That was a sax player. Mark Colby is the guy who played on the original album. And when he, when he was over, we had to start and stop all the time because we were on Fullerton Avenue, and that is not a soundproofed recording studio. It was a college bedroom. <laughs> so we were always stopping because the traffic was going by. There was a siren. There was a motorcycle, a truck, or whatever. So Fullerton Avenue was crazy. That's why I named this song. Anyway, we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, But right now, I want to go into another song. This is Double Exposure. We're going to fade that one out. We're going to get... I'm just going to do a bunch of songs. I'm going to do a bunch of random songs. This is the remake, of course. Double Exposure. Featuring Russ Freeman of the Rippingtons.
Man, whoo! That's a crazy track right there. Double exposure. Russ, Fe- Russ Freeman on guitar. Uh, that was Jeff Cashua on saxophone, by the way. Uh, Will Kennedy on drums. Jimmy Haslip on bass. Lenny Castro on percussion. It was really a dream team remaking this album. <clears throat> and here's the deal. I wanted to remake it. Because the first album was basically all programmed, but I wanted it to be real. I just didn't have the budget, and I really didn't know anybody. I was 20 years old, still in college. Label was like, hey, here's a few grand. That's all I had. I I think I had $7,000 to do an entire record, (laughs) which is very little money. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> especially in the 90s, because most of the time you'd have to go into a real studio. I couldn't even do that. I was just trying to make it work in, in, in the bedroom studio, but it worked. It did. However, I always had in the back of my mind that I wanted to do a remake of that album with amazing players. So that's really why I did the Another Long Night Out. Basically, just kind of redid it, just like the originals, but with the live musicians. And it just, it's like going from AM to FM. Like going from standard definition to 4K. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. So, should we do another song? I think so. I'll just keep it going. Now, this is actually interesting. The original version of Horizon, listen to this groove. Listen to this groove. I'm going to play the intro, get it in the groove, and then I'm going to go into the remake, okay? That's, a, that's some drums right there. That's the original right there. I saw so many of the comments. 7,000 was a lot in 94. Not when a, a record normally costs 100 to make. Do you see what I'm saying? Budgets back then were crazy. Many people were spending millions of dollars on records back then. I had 7,000. <laughs> Here's the remake. All right. All right, you just heard the original there. This is Patches Stewart.
Trey Parker Jr. on guitar, actually. Blazing in there. Patches on trumpet. Michael Bland on drums. Alex Al on bass. Funky. Whew. <laughs> that groove is in my head. Whew. <sighs> Shall we get a drink? I think so. Ooh. While we do, I'll let you listen to a little bit of this song. This is the original. And this is the original artwork. The original painting, actually. By an artist named Daniel Nevins. crazy thing is, right before I was about to remake this album for another long night out, I got an email out of the blue from Daniel, and I had never spoken to him before. He said, hey Brian, you don't know me, but I'm the guy who painted the album cover art of your first album. I'm moving, and I'm clearing out space. Do you want this? I say, yeah! <laughs> so there it is. Crazy. That was the original. Now let's get on to... Featuring Steve Lukather of Toto. Real string orchestra. Ricky Lawson on drums. Nathan East on bass. Michael Thompson on background guitars. Oh, so much.
full orchestra there. Worked on that with David Benoit. The arrangement. Steve Lukather on guitar. Just iconic sound. Man, unbelievable. Woo. It is dramatic, right? So that is definitely uh, the oldest song that I had written. Meaning, I wrote that song when I was 17 years old as part of a, a songwriting uh, assignment in school. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Uh, so, I was studying with this guy. Get a drink of water. Studying with this guy, uh, composition lessons. And his partner had some lyrics of a song that he had already written. So the assignment was, take these lyrics, which was already a song called Beautiful Liar, right? And write a completely different musical song based on just these lyrics. I never heard the original song. <clears throat> so that was the assignment. That's why it was called Beautiful Liar. I didn't title it. I just kept the same title as <laughs> Hey, it was, uh, I was 17. Uh, there was no grades, uh, you know. It was just it was private lessons. I was just studying with this guy. Yeah, it wasn't really class. It was co yeah, composition lessons. Um, but I learned a lot. A lot of red pencil marks. <laughs> All right. Hey. I got some birthdays. Should we do it? Yeah. Where's that button? Oh, there it is. All right. Who's celebrating this week? Hey, we got B. B in the UK. What's up, B? Hope you're feeling better. We got Debbie Boynes, Lewis Brown, Lee Canley, Emily Duncan, Karen Fulton, Terry Govern. Pam Humphrey, April Love Hunter, Wakana Inamura, Tammy Neely, Sibylla Peters, Sibylla, Sibylla, sure. We got Karen Ragland, Janet Rollins, Diane Spruill, Raymond Walker, Sharia Waters, Carrie Williams, Linda Williams, Cornell Wright, and Pam Ubrin. Hey, Pam. Happy birthday. We got some anniversaries, too. We got JT and Regina Talbert. We got Becky and Justin Smith, 18 years. And Jim and Tommy Myers celebrating 46 years. I had to use two hands. Happy anniversary. Happy birthday to you. It's, what's, it's, if you're celebrating. But, uh, yeah. And happy 30 to Long Night Out. <laughs> ah. Hey, check this out. I got a video that I found of uh, in the studio with Will Kennedy, the drummer, and Jimmy Haslip, guys from the Yellow Jackets. And these were the guys that I was listening to hardcore when I was making the original Long Night Out album. And so I was envisioning kind of what what they would be playing when I was programming the drums and playing the keyboard bass. So this is them in the studio in 2013, right before the remake came out. Where's this video? Here it is. This is uh, in Los Angeles. <laughs> So methodical. Awesome. Bob Horn. There's Jimmy Haslip. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Will Kennedy. We made the remake in oh, 2013. Oh, man. Oh, anyway. That's awesome. There you're on you're on video, Will. 
I don't think he can. Oh, you're that. on video, Will. Say what's up. <laughs> what do you want to do? One more? One more? Okay, we're tracking uh, Fullerton Ave with Will Kennedy and Jimmy Haslip. Look at that. Look out. Night. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're on the vamp of this tune and uh, just kind of getting some different, uh, different takes. check out this is the original one more time remember the original this is the... so this drum part i was hearing will play this 20 years before i even knew him this is the original fullerton app right here isn't that crazy same with the bass part thinking about what would Jimmy do all right now I gotta go into the remake with those guys with the horn section with Paul Jackson Jr. on guitar and all the cats you ready here we go here we go Fullerton Avenue the remake there's the guys right there and of course Chuck Loeb on guitar.
Fullerton Ave. The craziness of Fullerton. The late, great Chuck Loeb on guitar. And so many, so many amazing musicians. Let's take another trip back down memory lane. Here's some photos from the remake sessions. Check it out. Ooh, I'm going to play play this song while we check it out. Okay. Ricky Lawson tracked his drums at his studio. Man. Oh, that's me, Bud Harner. Bud got me signed to that original deal. Friend. Oh, these are going too fast. Me, Michelle, and David Benoit hanging out during the string recording. That was amazing. Look at Patches. He was hanging out the house. Patches, no beard. Oh, you know, I, I was playing Euphonium on a song. <laughs> and Michelle took that photo. That's awesome. Uh, Candy Dolfer is on this record. She was in town for the Smooth Jazz Cruise rehearsals when we uh, recorded that. That's Larry Dunn of Earth, Wind, and Fire. He brought a kalimba, recorded kalimba on Long Night Out. Ah, oh, Jonathan Butler sang so beautifully on Changing Tides. Aw, oh, Michelle and Chuck, they uh, they bonded because they had they had the same glasses. They were so cool. They were hanging out a bunch. Of course, Nathan East. Oh man, cool guy. Nathan's on the whole brand new record, the Day Trip record. Yes. Ugh. Nate. All right. Those are some photos. That was my old studio out in Los Angeles. Three studios ago. <laughs> ah. There you go. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Now what are we going to do? Let's play the remake now of Alone With You. We may go a little long this day. All right, this is the remake. And I played this the other night on the Wednesday Hang. And I told everybody, this intro was a mistake. I was in the bathroom. Chuck was messing around with his looper pedal. Chuck Lowe. And I came out and said, Do that again.
another long night out alone with you right here. Oh. Along with you. Woo. It's fun to go back and revisit these songs. Hope you're having a good time. Uh, by the way, um, if you still like CDs, I still do have some of these. That's right. In case you need one, I got you. I have some left. <clears throat> the original, of course, has been way out of print for years and years and years. Sorry. Just letting you know. Mm. Oh, that's good. Um, let's do another song, shall we? Now, this one, um, the original. I'm going to play you a little bit of the original. Okay, ready? This is the title cut. You ready for this? Title cut. Long Night Out, the original. Uh, I also recorded this when I was a senior in high school. So I was 18 years old when I did this song. Yeah. Real drums. It's my friend, my high school friend. But on sax. This is before Pro Tools. There was no Pro Tools back then. This is late 80s, early 90s. 89, 90. Crazy. All right, I'm going to play that. Okay, that, that's the original. Long Night Out. Here's the remake. All real marimbas. Kalimba. Real percussion. Taiko drums. Orchestra. Candy Dolfer on saxophone. Go, Candy!
Title cut, Long Night Out. Featuring Candy Dolfer and so many other great musicians on there. Full orchestra, kalimba, marimbas, vibes, drums, basses, horns. That was a fun production right there. Thanks, Candy and everybody. Uh, we got one more song. Can you can you hang for a few more minutes? Because I want to do this song. And uh want to also give a shout out to Michelle because, check this out, uh, we met just as I was doing my very first show. Let me show you, let me show you these slides one more time. Ready? Okay. All right. So this is Fullerton Avenue. That's the costume shop. Remember, the third floor is uh, <laughs> where I recorded that. That's the bedroom where I made the first record. That's right. And this is my first gig ever. May 13th, 1994. And you see in the front row the blonde curly hair. That is Michelle. We officially met right after that show. That's right. And our first date was two days later. May 15th. So we are coming up on our 30th as well. And so when we were remaking the album, she produced all the piano parts and was a massive part of the remake uh, because she really, really knew the original so well. And uh, so shout out. Hey. All right. That's right. It's awesome. Uh, and then, and then she moved in with us. She needed a place to stay. It's a lot of information there. I'll leave that alone. That was great. <laughs> ah, so cool. Uh, yeah. There, there it is. Great story. All right. Can we do one more song? One more song. Cause she's singing on this last song along with Jonathan Butler. That's right. You may know what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right. We're going to play this last song. This is the last song from the album. And this is called Changing Tides.
Changing tides. And that was it. Hey, you guys. Thanks for watching tonight. Thanks for celebrating with me 30 years of Long Night Out. Can you believe it? Well, it is what it is. <laughs> Thanks for hanging, and uh, let's sing it out. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks, everybody. Shout out to Scott Steiner, Bud Harner, and Michelle. What? It's Friday night. It's Friday night. It's Friday night. Folks, thanks for hanging. As always. What are we doing next week? I'm going to Sea Breeze. What? It's Friday night. It's Friday night. So I'll be on in two weeks. It's Friday night. Long night out, wasn't it? <laughs> there you go. See y'all in the chat. Boom. Thanks, everybody. All right, so the joke is, on a 20th anniversary, I recorded another long night out. It's been 10 years since that one. So in another 10 years, on its 40th anniversary, the joke goes, I'm going to re-record it again. And that'll be called, Yet Another Long Night Out. Uh, hey, why not? Maybe every song will be in a totally different style. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We shall see. All right, thanks everybody. Thanks for hanging. I think I need some more wine. Oh. Mm. Yet another. Will we still be hanging in 10 years? I hope so. Because I bought the cameras. <laughs> Reminder you can get the remake CD on my website. And for those of you musicians watching out there, you get the Another Long Night Out Music Minus One mixes of all the instruments. A no drums mix, a no bass mix, a no piano mix, a no leads mix, so you can play along if you so wish. And all the charts are included for free. All right, musicians, go get it. It's all on my website, brianculbertson.com. If you haven't been to the website lately, there's a lot going on. Todd already has the no drums version. He's jamming along. I love it. Ooh. Mm. Yes, I didn't do all the songs tonight. So you can get the record. You can replay it yourself. In the next few minutes. <laughs> From top to bottom. Anybody listen to the original and then the remake, back to back? Two hours of listening? Somebody wants to borrow this jacket. No problem. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you once again for hanging out tonight. Appreciate y'all. Uh... More Gargiulo Merlot, yes. Hey, it's Friday. <laughs> Shout 
Shout out Tower Records. We're bringing the 90s back. What? <laughs> we'll see y'all in a couple weeks. Hand Club, I'll see you Monday. All right. Good night. Thank you.